not objectively wrong to leave a full-born baby by the fire and just say, you're on your own, have a nice life. Well, yeah, I'm calling into question objective morality, so I obviously have no, to No, I know, I'm bullet. just trying to make you hear back how insane what you are saying. Well, you're so, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, we're checking out Charlie's Good. Book my viral stick over college student Mora Compass. Guys, let's get straight into this one. Oh, uh, hello. Um, yeah, so I've seen you like talk a lot about like objective morality. Um, and my big question is, you know, it feels like you can make good statements and bad statements without referencing some kind of like, um, like moral book. So I can say like something is good, right? I had a good day today. And it doesn't really feel like I need to reference religion for that. Um, like, so can you explain to me why you think we need to have some kind of absolute standard for like morality? Excellent question. It's really good. If you say you have a good day, are you describing the experience you had or was it morally a good day? Um, so yeah, it would be a good day. So I can like narrow it down more, I guess. Um, or I can ask, I guess, like a better question. So if I don't have religion, right, let's say I am an atheist or something and I were to go up to, um, I find like two books. One's the Quran and then one is the Bible. And I read both of them and then I have a feeling of preference towards one or the other. That makes me feel like morality probably isn't objective because I read two moral codes, I didn't have one before, and then I derived one after reading it. But one is true. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, obviously if you go in with the presupposition that one is true. But well, like, so let's, clearly, pl let's play uh, this out. If, not sorry to interrupt. If I'm on an island, and let's just demystify part of this, and there's the Bible, and then there's Lord of the Rings, mm -hmm. and I end up believing in one of those, which is true. Um, well, what's true is just what corresponds with reality. We're talking uh, about- Ah, I I'm, agree. So which yeah. one has evidence and when applied in the natural world actually shows a flourishing people and society and a way to live? Because you would agree, at least out of eight out of 10 of the 10 commandments, they're pretty good rules for life. No, yeah. Yeah, no of course, yes. No, How, but so, the thing that I'm talking about is, doesn't have to do with whether or not Christianity is good or bad or whether no, I agree with most saying. of, yeah. It's just regarding like, um, yeah, one can be true, but even if one is true, it doesn't really feel like I'm influenced in terms of what I feel is good or bad. Because obviously, you know, there are people who are Muslim who have read, you know, the Bible and still are more persuaded by Islam. No, of course. I mean, you could be persuaded by anything, right? That, that doesn't... I believe that there is a transcendent way of living. I call that the Bible, right? And I believe it's the perfect catalog from creation to the end of the world. You don't have to agree with that. I'm talking strictly from a moral sense. So let's just ask a, a separate question, which is, do you think people are naturally, naturally, outside of you know, religious teaching, good or not so good? Um, not so I, good. The nature of humanity. The nature. I wouldn't be comfortable making a statement about That's it. Fair enough, and I appreciate that. So we believe, as Christians or those in the space, human beings are pretty awful, okay? That we're broken, that we're sinful, that we fall short of the glory of God and that we need to teach people how to be good. A common left-wing belief is that human beings are actually awesome and they're terrific, and the reason why things are not so good is because of capitalism or the patriarchy or feminism or whatever. So you're asking a question of, you know, why do we need objective morality? Well, or, or what specifically? Um, yeah, so not necessarily why we need objective morality, but you seem to be, because obviously I don't believe that it's a thing, but you seem to make the claim that do, like Do you we believe can, that absolutely? Um, no. <laughs> um, okay, good. But You're consistent. Yeah, the, the big thing is, is for me, even if I have a God, there is no thing telling me like, you know, it's just like the is ought problem, right? That's like my big contention, right? How am I ever gonna derive a claim about what I should do from only statements about the nature of being? Got it, so is, you, you would believe murder's wrong? Um, yeah. Why, why, why do you believe that? Because in its definition, it says it's wrong, right? It's wrong killing of somebody, or at least that's my understanding of it. Okay, so, I mean, so for example, you go to an African village, happens all the time, they leave a full-born baby by the fire, they don't want it, they discard it, happens tons of times. Any missionary will tell you that. They just discard babies. Why, why, they don't believe it's wrong, it's just in their code and custom, no one feels bad about it, just discard kids you don't want. Are they wrong? Um, for me, yeah, they're wrong. Yeah. But, it, but, it's well, it's well, a bullet I no, do no, have no, to no, bite from my worldview. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Are they objectively wrong? Is it object No. No. So I don't believe in objective morality. So that can apply so to any not, statement. So it's not objectively wrong to leave a full-born baby by the fire and just say, you're on your own, have a nice life. Well, yeah, I'm calling into question objective morality. So I obviously have no, to No, I know. I'm bullet. just trying to make you hear back how insane what you are saying. 
Well, you're so, making a claim no, about no. the objectivity of it. No, you're I know. So, no, 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 let, let's let's get. Obviously, I think it's wrong. Let's get more graphic. So you okay. put you put a thousand Jews in a gas chamber, mm -hmm. and the Nazis thought what they were doing was good, and they pressed the button. Mm -hmm. Were they right or were they wrong in gassing millions of Jews? Objectively, you can't like when you say, "Is it objectively wrong?" Hold on, wait, wait. If you say it's objectively wrong, you're implying that you can derive a truth value from it. And Whoa, I don't think you can. I, I, so I don't think that you can make though. a true statement regarding whether something's good or bad. Got it. So just to be clear, the Nazis could have been right in their actions, in your view. That implies that right is an actual thing. I don't believe you can determine a truth value from a moral claim. So mm. the Nazis were not objectively evil. Yeah, I've said that like four times. Like, yeah, you can't derive objective moral statements from like things. Thank I'm not you. saying they're not wrong. Like, they are wrong. Oh. Well, no, no, no. No, it's okay. Yeah. No, I, I just want to make sure we're, this is important because what you are saying, and you're saying it very clearly, mm -hmm. is that we look at the Holocaust and it's just a matter of opinion. Yeah, that's kind of the problem of being an atheist. You have to bite the bullet. I respect your intellectual clarity, and I will say... And look, obviously well, for on. clarity, no, 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 I no. obviously think the Holocaust is wrong. So no, I, if anyone's questioning no, about that, No, but it's that, just, it's just yeah. your opinion. I believe that it's objectively wrong, mm -hmm. no matter who you are or where you come from, because it transcends opinion. Do you think, last question, I mm -hmm. appreciate your clarity on this, do you see how your view could result in a lot of dead people? Well, yes. I don't think my view is really a... I'm not making a claim that we should behave in a way. No, no, you're making claims. Well... I am making claims, yeah, but I'm not making a claim that, like, we should behave in a certain way or, like, that we ought to, like, you know, not have Christianity or some kind no, no, of No, I'm not saying code. that, but let me play this out, and I think you'll understand. No, I understand, cause because you're going to say, it, well, there's all these bad things that could happen if people or, follow or, me. Or that did happen. No, 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 I'm not following mm -hmm. you. If your view becomes a view of a country, mm -hmm. and, for example, putting a thousand Jews in a gas chamber is not deemed as objectively wrong, transcendent above anyone's opinion, mm -hmm. th then all of a sudden... What would prevent that evil thing from occurring and nobody questioning it? Sure. So my main idea, I guess, with the worldview is I'm not making a claim again about how things should be. I'm making a claim that this is how things are. So within my like worldview, this is all fine. You can have people agreeing that things are wrong. Generally, I think most, moral, most people's moral intuitions will lead them to thinking that things like murder is wrong and stealing is wrong because it makes you feel bad, right? No, well, if I see somebody get hurt, that makes me feel bad. If you see somebody no, of die, course, that makes you totally. feel bad. Yeah, the, the, the SS guards didn't feel bad when they killed Jews, and that's okay. But do you see where this might unravel into mass murder and societal chaos. Yeah, it, that happens in the real world. I'm making a description about the way people derive their morals. I'm not saying how we should or shouldn't. I'm saying this is how you just like derive your morals. If you have two books there, the trueness or correspondence with reality has zero anything to do with your preference towards, you know, one moral system or, or another. Hold on. Or maybe the true one says don't gas the Jews. That would be, don't yeah, murder. that would be obviously, Because God you know, will I, judge you harshly. Yeah, 100%. Maybe the and I mean, just hear me out. Maybe the true one says that life is good and that there is a creator who loves you. But maybe, now what you're doing maybe. is you're just making claims about what you think. Like, yeah, obviously it would be awesome if I had a moral code that everyone had to follow that agreed with I know, if only a book existed. Yeah, I know, if only. But my if, entire If only is, there was this amazing book. You, yeah, but my point is that... No, all you're, you're, being, that... you're being super clear. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, yeah. No, and you have, you're the first person ever, to your credit, <laughs> to answer the atheist Nazi question clearly, which is that an atheist cannot objectively say yeah. that the Holocaust is wrong. I'm arguing against objective, like the idea that... No, you're, you're being... Yeah. Usually there's some withering there. You, you went right into there. Well, so. yeah, I can't go in here and, like, not bite the bullets of, like, what my argument implies, like... We have clarity, but not agreement. Thank you, my friend. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for time. Guys, I, I honestly believe that this should be titled, like, Stupid Woke Student. Like, I see, if this is the mindset he wants to follow, and if this is the mindset we all follow, like, that means nothing is wrong, objectively. That means I can just walk up, walk up there and slap him because I feel what he's saying is stupid and... I'm right in my own sense. Like, I honestly believe that this life is... When people say it's not really black and white, maybe there's black, white, and there's brown. But, like, if we want to be very, very serious, it's black and white. Is it that you said it or you didn't? Is it that you intend to do it or you didn't? Is that you do it or you didn't? Like, I really don't get the reason why people feel like we can play around it. I don't know if you get what I mean. Like, him saying, oh, I, I really don't think what Nancy says is wrong and 
I I I know it's wrong, but objectively they are not wrong. Like I I feel it does not make sense because it's either they are wrong or they are not. When you keep somebody is wrong, we all know this. Like it's even animals. Like when when you kill yourself, like sometimes some parts will separate from you because they feel like what you did is rubbish. Except you're fighting for the alpha position and stuff like that. There was a time where humans killed themselves. There was a time where humans go for a door, kill themselves, have fun, laugh about it. But this is something we understand that is wrong. The Bible came in, religion came in, we saw that these things are wrong. Like, we're supposed to be this certain way. And, like, through the help of God, we, we overcome, like, these faces. And people are, like, people are being born and saying that it's not objectively wrong for you to kill thousands of Jews. It's actually very, very stupid. Look, I tell you what you think about that. Stay to the like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.